Hey, so this is just a quick, like, Amadil solo guide for, uh, people who are lazy fuck like me. Uh, quick look at the gear. It's pretty standard gear. I like to use a Ring of Suffering instead of a, um, Archer's Ring because of the magic defense bonus. And you can do more DPS with the recoil effect. And I'm only using a Crystal Shield because I don't have a DFS. I'm an Iron Man. You know what's up. For inventory setup, just copy what I've got here, it's pretty basic, or some variant of this, take more brews if you can afford it, take more restores, whatever, you'll kind of work out a rhythm for how many resources you need per trip. Um, this, sh you should be able to get at least 5 kills doing this, I get from 7 to 12, depending on food drops from the minions. Um, and so what you want to do, I just pre-potted, you walk into the room here with your quick prayers on. Obviously you want to use Protect from Range and Eagle Eye at least. So the basic strategy is you run to this top corner here and as you can see what I'm doing, I'm right clicking to attack the minion and then I'm clicking to attack Kriara as I throw the Chin Chomper. And if you look in the top left hand corner where the character like name is with the health, you can see my focus keeps switching between Callista and Kree. And what this does is it stops Kree from meleeing you because the game detects that you're focusing your attack on Kree. Um, and you don't want this fucker meleeing you because it hurts like a bitch. Yeah. And you just keep repeating this process over and over. Um, see, I fucked up there. I blame Ping because it's Australian and I'm shit with my shit Ping. But anyway, yeah, it's easy fix. And then normally what you can do here is you can... You can walk south of Cree, well, in this case, east of Cree, and chin her on top of the uh, the mage minion, or the range minion, I can't remember. But I don't do that. I just sit here, keep ranging her with my crossbow, and I wait for the melee minion to respawn again. And I'm just going to play the whole kill just so you can kind of see what goes on here. And between these kill, like between when the melee minion spawns, you want to brew your stats back up, repot, blah blah blah. I actually took a lot of damage this kill, like this is way more damage than I'd normally take, and it's kind of fucked, but I guess that shows you, you know, don't panic, just kind of brew up. Keep throwing your chin jumpers at Kree so she doesn't melee you and fuck your life up. And yeah, back to the process again, just click click I like to right click because if you try and left click the character portraits are really like Kree's fucking attack hitbox is like really big so you gotta right click to make sure you get the attack in every time and that's pretty much all there is to it very basic way of doing it uh, if you're good at the game and can pray a switch and lure Kree properly it you can probably easily do like you know, 15 to 20 kills plus, but uh, yeah, and then after you kill her, you want to focus down the mage minion first, obviously, I dump my blowpipe specs in to heal myself up, um, yeah, kill that, and then you kill the range minion, and if you brought bones to peach tabs along, or a, uh, what do you call it, a room pouch with the minute, you just go ahead, pick up the bones, and yeah, it's a free, with this method, that's a free 40 health per kill because there's five bone, sets of bones and they heal eight each, which adds up in the long run, lets you get a lot more kills, so it's highly recommended to bring bones to peaches. And that's really all I can say about this. You'll just go stand in that corner again and wait for the boss to spawn and repeat. Just once you get that motion down of like right clicking attacking the minion and right clicking attacking Kree as you throw the chin jumper it's really just becomes like automatic and it's very basic uh yeah thanks for watching okay good luck with your Kree bye